Hi everyone. It's it's been a great summer, and uh, I always get really excited for fall. You know, there's many reasons, but I love seasons. I love the changing of the seasons. I love the leaves, the foliage, it's so beautiful, and it reminds me of growing up in Sweden and just so much beauty. I love thinking about wearing sweaters again. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite kind of transition from summer to fall looks and it's gonna be simple of course i'm gonna start with i'm heavily moisturized i have um also my vital skin foundation on in two and four and i'm just gonna curl my lashes this is basically jennifer's i i have it for her because she loves this one jennifer aniston <laughs> it's battery driven and it's quite hot actually and it heats up in seconds oh my god it's wild because I never actually curl my lashes, so it's pretty significant. That's crazy, I suddenly feel like I can see my eye, wow. I'm a big fan of continuing to be a little bit bronzy, even though I never was bronzy because I don't get tan in the summer, but I just like to sort of carry it over to the fall season because it feels like it's not so abrupt. Okay, so I'm going in with my Beauty Butter Bronzer, and I'm actually using Soleil Riche. And it's matte, which is very nice. I really have always liked this kind of um, unification between matte brown on the eyes and bronzy skin. I just feel like it looks so chic. There's something like, feels like very sort of monochromatic, yet um, layered and textured and rich i've just always really liked that then i'm gonna give myself some face trace and biscuit give myself a little bit of contour my nose as my eyes are going to be matte i'm going to go i'm going to give my cheeks a bit more of a radiant finish so i'm using brulee and lit up my top of my cheek. So oftentimes when I think about a look that I wanna create on myself or when I'm working, I think about um, something that inspires me if it's a reference like such as a person like Ally McGraw and Love Story or something like that. And then I, I start off, that's my starting point and then I kind of make it into my own thing. I have some some products in front of me. You know, I have like all these kind of fall rich, um, earthy tones, a little bit of red, a lot of brown, but they're all matte. As you can tell, this Chanel um, matte brown. This is called Claire Obscure. So I'm using my eyeshadow one brush. I'm going across, close to my lash line, up to the socket. And because of the shape of my eyes, I always need to go just a bit over the above the socket. And then I go underneath a little bit just to really pop the green in my eyes. And I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of this really pretty um, rusty shade here. It's a Dolce & Gabbana shade. It's matte and I always take colors out of their palettes and I put them in a bigger one so they're all next to each other. I just pop this in just below the socket so it peeks out a little bit. So it has this nice rusty kind of brown terracotta feeling, but it's still super matte. And I'm going to take eyeshadow two and just blend. I'm going to Going with this Chanel, the Crayon U, the tear line. It's nice to get just the top tear line as well, because then when the bottom wears off, the top can continuously kind of transfer. I love you mascara on my super curly lashes. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys and see what you think. Okay, so I'm going to go with kind of like one option here. 
which is more on the nude side. And I'm going to show you something else. I can obviously make it very deep or I can make it more of a stain so it becomes more of almost like a deep berry, something like that. I think I like this better. What do you, what does everyone think? I wish we could talk. I wish I could hear what you thought. Okay, so this is my fall makeup look. What do you think? Radiant skin, warm radiant skin, and maybe a little bit of a tease for lip color, and a matte brownish sort of terracotta eye with a rimmed tear line with black. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Bye.